YouTube, everybody there is your room. I'm inside the supermarket near my house. Some of you may wonder what a Japanese supermarket is like. It's a lot like supermarkets in America, but there are some crucial differences. So I'm gonna just point out the crucial differences and uh, yeah, just a little documentary of a Japanese supermarket. First of all, I wanna show you this. This is something they don't have in America. Ooh. These are wiener bread. It's like hot dogs, but it's wiener bread. So yeah. In Japan. Okay, this is for those of you who love sushi. Yes, the Japanese supermarket is full of sushi. You can get like any kind of sushi you want in here. It's great. It's not gourmet, but it's good. It's what regular people eat. They make it back there. They got their own little thing back there. And over here is these are Japanese sweets. They are not as sweet as we are used to, but they're good in their own way. Uh, my father and sister tried them and absolutely hated them. But I've gotten used to them. I think they're pretty good. And then over here we've got kind of like a Chinese deli kind of thing. This is called a bento. And it's got your rice, your chicken, your veggies, everything you need. Bento, snack, donburi. Oh, and these are good. I love these. This is uh, katsudon. It's uh, it's like um, it's pork with egg on rice. It's delicious. All right. This is fried squid skins. Uh, you never knew squid had skins, but here it is. Fried squid skins. Yummy. Do not underestimate how much the Japanese like squid. This is a whole squid. A dried squid. That's delicious looking, right? I've never eaten one. Six bucks. Yes, you can chew on it all day for six bucks. You never go hungry. And then, uh, some of you have seen my previous video. This is where you can buy my nuts. You can get my nuts right here. It's awesome. As most of you know, some of you know, I don't touch this stuff, but Japanese do like their sake. So they got tons of it. Walls of it. Just keep going. You can get sake in the jugs. And then you've got... Oh, that's just regular. Oh, this is the cartons of sake you can get. And then the one cups. Like I said, I don't touch this stuff. Used to. Don't touch it anymore. Uh, but whatever. I'm not gonna sermonize. Then we also have the kitty aisle, the toys and candies. Um, if I was a kid, I'd be happy. What do we got all over here? All sorts of toys and candies. The ridakuma. And uh, just assortment of different things. And then I always think this snack is interesting. This is a bag of fried ramen with a somewhat racist looking picture of a Chinaman on it. There's no racism in Japan. Ask John Jensen, he knows. Meiji. This is the equivalent to, I guess, like a Nestle's bar in, uh, or Hershey's bar in America. Meiji was an emperor of Japan and now he's a chocolate bar. Things can change, you know? And then, oh, that's not going right back in. I just like this name. Can't get enough Crunky. Crunky. It's not crunchy, it's crunky. Crunky. And another thing they have a lot of here is rice. They have more rice in, we don't even have a rice aisle in America, but they have bags of it, walls of rice. Look at this poor guy. I guess that's supposed to be a Japanese farmer. Again, the rice display. 40 bucks for a bag, 50 bucks for a big bag of rice. Shop and save, people, shop and save. Buy in bulk, yeehaw. These are assorted gift baskets, gift boxes, just stuff, I guess. Yeah, assorted gift boxes. I don't quite get it though, take a look. These are assorted soaps, but they're nothing really special. I use this soap all the time. Someone got me a box of it, I don't think I'd be too excited. 
At least not for a Christmas present. These are bath salts. I guess you can pull that off as a, you know, decent present. Now take a look at this. It's a box of cooking oils. When I think presents, I think a huge box of cooking oil. How long would it take you to use all this oil? I don't know. Oh, and then these are juices. Vegetable juices. Big box of vegetable juices. This is soba. All right, well, that's all right. Instant coffee. I'm gonna get this for my family for Christmas. For my good friends, just a big box of assorted instant coffee. It all tastes like hell. Uh, yeah, they don't really, it's hard to get real coffee in Japan. They do do it, but it's uh, not the easiest thing. This stuff all tastes like Shiite. But you can get an assorted gift box of it. Delicious. This, my friends, is konyaku. Konyaku, the first time I ate it, I thought it tasted like a fishy piece of rubber. There's no fish in it. It's just like a potato thing. And it's uh, really healthy, but it's not. It smells horrible. It smells horrible. And you might wonder why anyone would eat it. But it is healthy, and I actually eat it a lot now. I'm turning Japanese. But this is the little fish market, those are our fishermen. And they have all sorts of stuff. There's some gutted fish. Still haven't eaten any of this stuff, but I don't know. <laughs> then we have this. Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, it smells like fish around here. Hardcore. This is Rencon. I actually eat it a lot now. It's like this root covered in dirt. Of course, you wash the dirt off it. It's like hollow inside. I don't know. It's kind of like daikon, but you guys don't know what that is either. I'll check that out in a minute. All right. And here's negi. It's like a scallion, a super long onion scallion thing. Behind me is the tofu. Lots and lots of tofu. Tofu lovers paradise. Over here. It's a busy day in the supermarket. This is natto. In a previous video, some of you guys saw me eat natto. I like it, but I'm not buying any today. And then, over here, this is kimchi. Kimchi is, oh, well that doesn't look really kimchi stylish. Aha. Kimchi is spiced cabbage. It's a Korean thing. And it's really good. I recommend it to anybody. I've already got some at the house, so I'm not going to buy it now. Now, this part of Japan does in fact get kind of cold. Not cold like New York, not like where I'm from, but it does get cold. And they don't heat their houses properly. It's not like what we have in New York with like central heating, and the whole house gets warm. It's really nice inside, even though it's cold outside. They don't do that here. Uh, living in Japan in the wintertime is a lot like camping in the wintertime. Well, you know, in my house, I have one room which is really warm, and then once I leave that room, it's like as cold as it is outside. So one of the things they do to uh, beat the cold is this is just uh, this is all their stuff. They got lots of hand warmers, and these are these you fill these with hot water and put it in your bed. Very 1820s, I think. Um, yeah, and then these are for giving a horse an enema. Just, you know, doesn't leave much to the imagination, does it? No, it's for your kerosene heater. But I guess you could use it to give a horse an enema. Up to you. And this is where you go to get the designer rice. All that in there is healthy old designer rice. Right on. Yep, let's go check out. Your 
guess is as good as mine. So I've checked out, got my bundle of goodies, and uh, yeah, that is my Japanese supermarket. Ta da! Okay, so enjoy. Hope it was informative and fun. Yamanaka, Yamanaka, Yamanaka Super Seiru. <laughs>